So they don't even have to pay a doctor. So that $75 that they're paying a doctor, that's more money in their pocket. They don't have to pay a doctor for medication abortion. So they said, you know what, we're going to start offering the medication abortion almost every day of the week. And we can start doing, you know, anywhere from 6 to 10 a day. And let me tell you something. If the, if the spots are open, women will come. If the spots are open, women will make those appointments. <coughs> Now, that bothered me. And you might say, really? Because you were in this for five years, so clearly you didn't have a conscience. Well, <laughs> that bothered me, okay? Because I said, you know, hey, wait. And I told my supervisor, I said, no, wait a minute. Aren't we supposed to be in this for prevention? And she said, Abby, you have got to get your priorities straight. Your priority needs to be abortion because that's where the money is. The money's in abortion. Forget family planning. We've got to get the abortions in the door. So that's when I think my heart began to change a little bit. And I really started to question this organization that I thought I was going to retire with, right? Then on September 26th, we had a different doctor uh, come to our facility, and he's a private practice abortionist. He uh, lives in Austin, Texas. Uh, he actually lives in the facility where he performs abortions. He's an odd guy. Um, he has his own private practice. All he does is abortions all day long. He does three in the morning, three in the afternoon. It's just him and his wife. She's also She practices with him. And uh, he had come down that day. To help us out and in his in his practice he only does ultrasound guided abortion procedures so let me kind of explain the difference um, most places like these abortion facilities that are I guarantee every single one of them here in New York um, and it, all Planned Parenthoods do what they call a blind abortion procedure and what that means is they have the probe that's going to go into the uterus and they just blindly poke around in the uterus with the suction, okay, until they feel like they've hit a wall. That wall is the top of the uterus, okay? So there's a much higher risk of uterine perforation. There's a much higher risk of that probe going straight through the uterus, okay? But that's the fastest way to do it, and time is money. Planned Parenthood in these large abortion facilities. They want to get women in and out as quickly as possible. So they all do these blind abortion procedures. But if we're talking about abortion and the best way to do an abortion procedure, the best way to do it is to do an ultrasound guided procedure because you actually see the uterus up on the screen and you see where you're going with the, with the probe. Okay. Well, that's the only way that this doctor does these procedures is through ultrasound guidance. So, but in order to do the ultrasound guided procedures, you have to have somebody in there actually holding the ultrasound, right? Because he can't hold it and do the procedure. So, he called me in to assist with the procedure. I'd never done, I'd never witnessed this before, never seen anything like it before in my life. I didn't know what to expect. So, I went in and uh, found the uterus. The woman was uh, 13 weeks pregnant. And 13 weeks, when you're 13 weeks pregnant, the baby's formed. There's fingers, there's feet, there's toes. Everything is formed. All systems are formed. Um, and so what I saw, and when you're going to do an ultrasound guided procedure, you actually need to see the full body. Okay? So, I got in the right place. He said, I need to see the whole body. So I got in the whole place. I got in the right place. I saw the full profile of the baby. So I saw from head to foot, um, side profile of the baby. And 
I saw the pro I saw the probe that was hooked up to the suction going into the uterus. And I saw it go in and I saw I saw it come up next to the baby's side, right here. And I saw the baby kind of jerk away from the probe. And that surprised me because for years when women ask me, and they do ask, is my baby going to feel this? I told them no. Because that's what Planned Parenthood had told me. And so I couldn't believe it when I saw the baby jerk away. And then I thought, maybe I didn't see that right. So I, you know, I kept looking. And then, you know, as he kept going in further with the probe, I saw the baby's feet start kicking and moving away from the probe. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I couldn't believe that for five years, all of the thousands of women I had counseled and the hundreds that had asked me, is my baby gonna feel this? And I had said, no. They don't feel anything. And I was watching this baby fighting to get away from that ultrasound, I mean, from that probe, that suction probe. And it was something that I didn't want to watch. I didn't want to see what was going to happen next. But I couldn't take my eyes off of it. And when they go into the uterus with, with the probe, the suction's not on. So they flipped on the suction. And I, I don't know if you guys were watching what was happening on the ultrasound machine over there. And you may not really know what you're looking at if you look at it. But you can see this perfectly formed little backbone <laughs> on a baby. It's really cute. <laughs> and I could see that on this baby. I could see the little backbone. And when they turn the suction on, I could see this baby, I could see the backbone twisting and turning as it went through that, that tube. And then it was gone, just like that. And at that moment, it was like a flash went through my head and I dropped the ultrasound probe. And I thought, what am I doing? What, what has just happened? And I immediately had an image of my daughter. <coughs> and the ultrasound that we had of my little girl when I was 12 weeks pregnant. And I remembered the, the profile of her face. And it looked just like that baby I had just seen in that screen. And I thought, Oh my gosh, and then all of a sudden I realized I'm not holding the ultrasound probe. So I scrambled and I, I grabbed it, and everybody's looking at me like, what's wrong with you? I grabbed the ultrasound probe, I put it back in place, and at that moment, I thought, I will never do this again, ever. And I put my hand on this woman's, I had my hand on the ultrasound probe, and I put my other hand on this woman's belly, and it was almost like I could feel feel the life that had been taken out of her womb. It was the most amazing and horrible feeling I had ever felt in my life. You know, I have to be honest with you, I, for five years, I was a trained POC technician. POC stands for Products of Conception. Yes, it is true that they reassemble body parts after the procedure's over. Yes, I participated in that. Yes, I saw little hands and feet in a dish. 